This episode of Hip New Jersey is sponsored by Alpha Romeo of Morris County. Hi, I'm Lisa Marie Latino, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Hip New Jersey. We're coming to you from Alpha Romeo of Morris County, part of the Celebrity Motor Car Company. We'll learn more about Alpha Romeo and its team later on in this episode. But first, Hip and Jay journey to Broccoli Country Club for Fashion with Compassion, benefiting St. Joseph's Children's Hospital. It's very exciting to have, you know, 500 plus people gather here tonight, come out, support, you know, shop, uh, dress, you know, to the nines and uh, all in a, you know, for a good cause and to raise money and really help us to ensure that we can provide care to every child, no matter what the circumstances are. I love St. Joseph's Hospital. Are you excited to be here tonight? Yeah. What are you most excited to see tonight? There's going to be a prize and I can't wait for it. It's the best part to see it. So I can't wait to see it. So I'm very loyal, as you know, on the show. And I'm very loyal to this hospital. So anybody that helps this hospital has my loyalty. And that's how I've been. They get so much care here and they become a part of the St. Joe's family. So they come back and it's nice to see them thriving. The items that you donated, people are going gaga for. Uh -huh. And you donated a lot. Oh, thank, thank you. Of course. I mean, anything for St. Joseph's Hospital. We did our luggage from my company and some other travel things. But of course, I had some great iconic dresses from the show that I thought should be donated that I think, you know, people would definitely like to see. Obviously, I have five children, so children, like, mean something special to me. Like, I'm, I'm, I've always been drawn to children, so if it's something to help them out, I'm here 100%. Funds raised tonight go to help us with all those other special things that kids need when they're hospitalized. You know, we provide all the medical care, all the surgical care, the physicians, but things like educational things, social services, recreational therapy, things that really make it a less stressful environment for the children and their parents. We know from first hand how in incredibly um, difficult it is to have a sick child, whether it's cancer or anything else. Unfortunately, my daughter did pass away in 2010, but they still are supporting us and still are being uh, just so beautiful with us and just still with us in our grief. We have an integrative therapies program, which Dr. Bonilla is in charge of. They do massage, acupuncture, acupressure, aromatherapy. They help the kids get through all of the things that we're struggling through, and that's completely by uh, philanthropy and donations, because none of that is reimbursed by insurances, but it's a key part of what we do to help our kids get through it. The same way that they help me, they can keep helping a lot more people than, you know, even if it's a small donation or it when it comes to a charity or even if they just show up. It still does a lot and makes somebody's day even with the smallest amount. You know, it's for a great cause, so everyone wants to, you know, put their proceeds towards uh, the charity. Everybody's just having a great time. Uh, we sold out of the event, so we could not be any more proud or excited about that. What is the most important thing is that we network and we tell everyone about the hidden gem of Patterson at St. Joe's. It's what we are passionate about. It's what my co-chair, my cousin, yes. has inspired myself. Uh, she will talk to anyone about St. <laughs> Joe's and Fashion with Compassion, and that's what it's about, getting the word out and really getting everyone to be as passionate about this event as we are. Alpha Romeo is a legendary brand whose DNA is built on a unique motoring history. The brand's best-in-class performance and pure Italian spirit deliver an unparalleled driving experience. Alfa Romeo of Morris County prides itself on bringing this tradition to the Garden State. Simply Southern Belmar was founded by former NFL player and New York Giant Rashid Simmons and his mother Rita. Let's see what they cooked up for Hip NJ. Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Marie Latino for HipNewJersey.com and joining me here today is Rashid Simmons. He is co-owner of Simply Southern Belmar. Rashid, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for coming. I love your restaurant. Thank you, ma'am. This is like a hidden Jersey Shore gem. I appreciate that. Thank you. We try. We really do. So tell me, how did this all come to be? 
Me and my mom own this place. We've been in the restaurant business for a little over 17 years total. We found this location a little over five years ago, and how we found it is we used to do the seafood festival down here in Belmar, the Belmar Seafood Festival, and we found that there was no one down here doing our type of food and giving people the experience that we like to give them. I looked around and we found this place and uh, the rest is history. How has it been being co-owner with not only somebody else, which is difficult in and of itself, but your mother? Yeah, so, well, <laughs> um, it's, it's an experience, it's a lot of fun. At the end of the day, it's a good time. I'm able to spend most of my days with her and learn from her. You know, a lot of people learn from their parents, uh, different trades and skills. And my mom has taught me how to run a business and how to be a chef. And that's her gift that she's passed on to me. So it is a gift at the, at the end of the day. I guess she instilled the love of cooking into you at a very young age. Yeah, uh, so more so because I like to eat. In college, I was always one of the guys who enjoyed to cook do barbecues and things of that nature, so there was always a passion for me to do cooking there. And my mom just helped me kind of develop those skills over the years uh, after playing sports. I've learned so many different things from her over the years, from making grits to learning how to do ribs the southern way, the proper way. So I give her, you know, all of the credit and I'm just trying to take it to another level. Where did you grow up? I'm actually a Jersey boy. I grew up in Edison, New Jersey. My mom is from Savannah, Georgia, and my father was from Gangsville, Florida. Uh, that's where the southern roots come from, and obviously the southern food. You had another whole career, which is how we came together yes. through our common connection with the New York Giants. Roman Oban, got to shout Roman out. Yes, Roman, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Talk to me about your NFL career. I had uh, came out of college as a free agent and was picked up by the Giants. Uh, I played the 99 season with there. It was a great learning experience. I got to play with a lot of great guys. After playing with the Giants for that season, I went to the Carolina Panthers. I was there for a couple of years, um, injured myself, which kind of cut my career a little short, but still a great experience. Uh, so, so overall, about three years in the league and uh, had some fun and uh, got to see the world. I uh, played a season over in NFL Europe. That was a great time as well. Uh, so got to play some football and, and have some fun, but uh, more so, and anything, just learn uh, how to run a business and how to do things on a day-to-day -day basis as a professional. That's one of the things, you know, sports has taught me, uh, you know, how to wake up every morning and do it at a high level every day. Not only with the Giants, but, you know, all of the guys who I've met through the years in every team, you know, I try to, you know, uh, give them what we call a homeboy check-in every once in a while, you know, just to, you know, let them know we're all still here and, you know, and just trying to bounce ideas off of different guys and obviously this is how we met. So, yeah, you know, it, it pays to kind of, stay around and kind of hang around and, and, and keep in contact with as many people as you can. Any of them come here? Yes. Who? Uh, so we've had uh, Roman here. Um, we've had Luke Pettigrew here. We've had uh, Sean Williams here. And yeah, we've, we've had a few guys uh, who I've played with in the past. Um, Christian Peters, he's uh, come here a few times, especially if the guys live in the area, you know, uh, which most of those guys do, so. What's more difficult, football or restaurateur? Uh, the restaurant business is not even close. It's not even close. <laughs> Why? I mean, they're both demanding, you know, with football, you have a break, yeah. you know, at some point. Uh, in the restaurant business, there's no break. You know, when people are going to Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Easter dinner, Mother's Day dinner, they're coming to see us and we're working. And it's all year round. It's very, very tough. It's physical, just like um, football. It's mental, just like football. And it takes a lot out of you, you know, so uh, you're doing 12 hour days, seven days a week. What do we have in front of us right now? One of our signature dishes, or a couple of our signature dishes, and some of our new dishes that uh, you know we're always trying to come up with. We have our seafood gumbo right here, which uh, comes with uh, lobster, scallop, crab, shrimp, mud bugs. Uh, mud bugs? <laughs> um, so these are called crawfish oh, up okay. here, but uh, down south they call them mud bugs. Oh, okay. So uh, a little bit of corn, um, little peppers, onions, uh, comes with the yellow rice. Kind of a homemade dish, my mom's recipe. We've got our baked macaroni and cheese which is a southern traditional classic, obviously. We have one of our healthy dishes here, is our deep fried cauliflower. And we have one of our newest members to the menu, which is our pulled pork egg rolls, which comes with a pulled pork and coleslaw and an egg roll, which is then deep fried. Well, we're gonna dig in, but in the meantime, where can people find out more about you? You can find us at simplysoutherncomfortfood.com or you can find us at Simply Southern Belmar, New Jersey on Facebook or Simply Southern Belmar, New Jersey on Instagram. I gotta try the mac and cheese. 
I'm Italian. You don't have to twist my arm on trying anything, anything pasta related. So I am going to chow down. But in the meantime, for everything Garden State, you can always visit us at hipnewjersey.com. We'll see you next time. You're watching Hip New Jersey, the hottest TV show where we've got it all. From the most exclusive restaurants and trendiest spots for entertainment and nightlife, to chic shopping, design trends, and fashion forward finds in the Garden State. Get the inside scoop on the hippest places, special spaces, and can't miss faces. We'll dish it out right here on Hip New Jersey. an exclusive sneak peek at the lush local places to live, work, and pamper yourself with our Jersey Lux picks. We live here. Yeah. You know, we live in Montclair. We love this town. Mm -hmm. And the hotel is really a reflection of our aesthetic and how we like how we like to live and how we like to travel. We have uh, behavioral therapy will be coming into our center. And as your physician, it's my job to work with you as well as our navigators to tell you what services are offered here. One of my intentions was to bring the co-working model to the suburbs. Morristown is one of the coolest and hippest towns, but it's also got a lot of history to it. There's all sorts of nonprofit organizations. There's a whole art community here. When the lights go down, New Jersey heats up, and we'll show you the best spots to dine, shop, and socialize. This is a hidden Jersey Shore gem. I'm actually a Jersey boy. I grew up in Edison, New Jersey. My mom is from Savannah, Georgia, and my father was from Gainesville, Florida. Uh, that's where the southern roots come from, and obviously the southern food. Kendra Scott has such a powerful meaning behind her. Her three pillars, family, fashion, and philanthropy, is huge. We're really grateful to have Hit New Jersey just spread the word about us. Well, I'm very grateful to be here for the 25th annual Spring Luncheon and Auction. I think it's for a very, very worthy cause, and I am always open to meet new people and have new experiences, and it's a very elegant setting on the stage of NJ Pack. In Toast of the Town, we will team up with a Garden State celebrity and spotlight New Jersey like you've never seen before. When I started the Blue Line Buddies program, uh, it was to make an impact in the community, and I think for these kids, they're coming around the rink, they're being able to see the most professional, successful athletes in the world, but also build bridges with police officers that keep us safe every day. I'm here at Porto Legero in Jersey City with former New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy. Governor, welcome. Thank you. Thanks and for having us. You're at one of the greatest restaurants in the state of New Jersey. How has New Jersey shaped you in your career? Oh, I mean, what a great question. Everything. I mean, when you think about New Jersey, you think about pride, you think about playing with energy. And for me, you know, my parents brought me up the right way, the Jersey way, and uh, I love every second about it. Hip New Jersey, live hard, work hard, play hard. You're from New Jersey and so are we. Alpha Romeo of Morris County, located in Whippany, New Jersey, is dedicated to providing exceptional customer service. Their vehicles offer the best of performance and luxury. From sales to service, their experienced staff will guide you through every aspect of the shopping and maintenance process. Since its founding in Milan, Italy in 1910, Alfa Romeo has designed and crafted some of the most stylish and exclusive cars in automotive history. Today, Alfa Romeo is winning the hearts of a new generation. First with the Giulia, and most recently with the Stelvio, Alfa Romeo has created two models that capture the pure and original spirit of the brand, that instantly recognizable thoroughbred character. Let's take a ride in an Alfa Romeo Stelvio as we learn all about celebrity motor car founder Tom Maioli and his journey into becoming one of the Garden State's top entrepreneurs. Tom, so great to see you. Yeah, How are you? you? Also. How's everything? Well, we did this, what, what was it, like three, four years ago? Three, four years ago, absolutely, when yes. you were honored as the Morris County Columbus Day Parade's Man of the Year. Yes, it was an amazing night. Yes, and we did this interview in a Maserati. Yes. And now we're back on Hip New Jersey doing this in an Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo, great vehicle. I am so excited. Great, great okay. vehicle. All great. right, so let's get our seatbelts on. And let's hit the road. You don't mind if I drink coffee, right? I do not mind, and that's actually my first question. 
What are you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking Joe's Own Coffee. It's my new company. How did the concept for Joe's come to be? Concept started uh, when I was back in the logistics business and I would go into companies in California for technology companies. I couldn't get the meeting started because the first hour people were talking about sports. And it hit me that there's no sports themed coffee company. We're going to start construction on the first store in the next 30 days and we're going out to market. We're going to be we're going to be selling franchises across the country. Oh wow. Where's the first store going to be? First one's in Cedar Grove, New Jersey. It's, New yeah, Jersey? it's absolutely and we're going to be rolling out franchises and we have uh, our brand ambassadors on board. We have Leonard Marshall from the New York Giants. Of course, he's yeah. a great friend. Jerry Cooney, uh, former uh, heavyweight boxer. Um, we have um, Tony Miola, uh, former, former professional soccer player. Um, and we're, we're having all kinds of uh, retired professional athletes on our board that are going to be showing up in stores, signing autographs, um, and we're going to create a social media blitz. Now that we talked about Joe's own, you know, this interview, it's about you and just how you built your empire from the ground up. Born and raised in, um, in born in Newark, but raised in, born and raised in Melton, New Jersey. I put my blinders on, I stayed focused, um, and I, I just went for it. You know, when I saw an opportunity, I, I, have, I could see things, I see visions, I could, I could see things before other people can see them. And I don't, I, don't, I don't look at it as risk, I look at it as opportunity. So I don't have a fear of risk. So what was the first deal you ever made? Well, the first company I ever started was a courier company, Flash Courier, out of um, West Orange, New Jersey. And I built that company. How did the cars come into play? Cars came in by accident. I always loved cars since I was a kid. I collected cars, I restored classic cars. And I was sitting in the office one day and somebody came in to me and wanted to know if they, if I knew anyone that was interested in buying a car dealership group. And they said, what do you know about the car business? And I said, nothing. I said, set me up a meeting. And they set me up a meeting. And by the time I walked out, I had a deal. I know we're in the Alfa Romeo right now. What drew you to that brand? Well, first, let's start with its, its Italian brand. So it's Alfa Romeo, Maserati. They're Italian brands. I'm Italian. I love, I love the brands. And you know, I, th I, I think it's a very sexy brand. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's a Highline brand. It's a luxury brand. And that's, that's where my focus is. What are we in right now? We're in an Alfa Romeo. Oh. This is the Stelvio. The Stelvio. The Stelvio what? SUV. Which, when you think luxury, like you think little sports cars, you don't think SUV. I love this car. Yes. Well, listen, the SUV, you know, it's, it's interesting. 60 to 70% of the vehicles on the road today are SUVs. And that's why you see Maserati has an SUV, Alfa Romeo has an SUV, even Rolls Royce has an SUV now. Yeah, and if you have a family, you know, gone are the days of the minivan, right? right exactly. You want something a little hipper. Exactly. Obviously. You do a lot of media. Other, yeah. other than little hip New Jersey over here. Yeah. Talk about some. Well, of the media. hip New Jersey's become big time. <laughs> yeah. We're trying. Absolutely. We're and trying. Yeah. No, I've been on CNBC. I've been on Money Watch. I've been on Fox News. Um, so yeah, the media calls on me for my for my entrepreneurial position. They like to see when, when, uh, you know, what what business people. Um, think about certain things that transpire in Washington and and how they're affected by it. So let's get back to the media. You have a radio show? I have a radio show. I don't know how, again, you have the time to do this. Tell me about your show. It started in uh, WOR um, and um, it, it got taken over by iHeart. iHeart uh, stepped in and uh, made me an offer. Um, and it's Go Big or Go Home. And I teach people how to start businesses, finance businesses, um, have guest speakers on all the time, and people call in with questions. And uh, it's been very successful. It's, 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 and it's a lot of fun. Tom, this was so fun. Yes, it was great. Such great. a good time. Absolutely. I mean, this car. Well, and driving in an Alfa Romeo. You know, I this has given me such motivation to one day be able to afford an Alfa Romeo. Go for it. <laughs> right? Because this is it was too fun to drive. So. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Nurse Gina has offered complimentary germ buster system treatments at several local urgent care centers, high schools, gyms, and nursing homes in an effort to educate businesses on how the system can help prevent the spread of germs. They've also increased their availability to accommodate greater demands for their service at healthcare facilities and private residences. Nurse Gina wants to prevent as many people from getting sick as possible, especially the immunocompromised. For more information, visit germbustersystem.com. Hi, my name is Lauren Piccarillo, mom inventor of Tranquilo Baby Suit Baby Massager. 
I just wanted to say thank you to all of the heroes who are putting their lives on the line during this pandemic. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to give back and make a difference and offer 25% uh, off of Tranquilo Baby Soothe Massager for babies who are anxious, fussy, just to give a little bit of peace and joy to families now during these stressful times. On behalf of the Mental Health Association in New Jersey, we are here. In the midst of this COVID-19 crisis, we are here to provide emotional support. Please visit our website at mhanj.org where you will find free resources, virtual support groups, and learning opportunities. Also, please feel free to call our call line at 866-202-HELP, H-E-L-P. Your mental health matters to us. Hi, New Jersey. I'm Chelsea Bingo, better known as Cookies and Cheech, and I'd love to say thank you to the first responders and healthcare workers who are putting their lives at risk for us every day, as well as a big shout out to Charlie Bingo Surf Pro, my dad's company, who is actively cleaning all of the hospitals, schools, and offices to ensure a safe environment for our loved ones. And another big shout out to Gentle Giant Brewing, who I've partnered with to sell these t-shirts. 100% of the profits go to the affected local business employees during this time. You can order yours at morethanjustcraft.org. Stay healthy, New Jersey, and remember, six feet, please. From our family at Inklings Baby to yours, we wanted to thank all the medical professionals, first responders, and essential workers for all that they do. We wish your family to stay happy, healthy, and safe. Hey, everyone, it's Jessica from the Jess Press here in Middletown. Thank you to all of those risking their lives every day for our protection in hospitals and medical offices from grocery stores to restaurants and all of the volunteers. A special shout out to postal and delivery workers for helping with my business as I can't meet with clients in person for their weddings, but they make it possible to get my designs to their door. Just like Hit New Jersey, we are spreading positivity every day, so please stay home and stay safe. Hi everyone, I'm Julie Hardigan. I am a Hoboken and Asbury Park based healthy cooking expert and TV chef. And I just wanted to jump on here to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of the medical professionals, emergency workers, and also guys, don't forget everyone working in the supermarkets. They're all working so hard to keep us safe, healthy, and well-fed. And for viewers out there, I also put something together to help you. You can grab it. It's a free pantry cooking cookbook at my website. It's cookingwjulie.com. Be safe and well, everyone. It's no secret that the car industry is a predominantly male field. However, Tom Aioli recognized the powerhouse women on his staff and assembled an all-female executive team. Let's meet the fabulous females that make up Alfa Romeo of Morris County. At Alfa Romeo, we have a general manager that is a woman. We have salespeople that are women. We have people that are working in our service drive and our service department that are women. And I, I have to tell you, the productivity has gone through the roof. I started with Celebrity Motor Car in December of 2011. I have had many different positions here. I worked as a finance manager, then a finance director. Then I started out with Maserati and Alfa Romeo when this dealership was built. I've been with the company since 2012. Started as a receptionist and worked my way up as a finance assistant, finance manager, and now I'm the finance director here. I'm actually our corporate BDC manager. I oversee all of our sales and service. It entails any inbound leads from you know, the internet, any service calls that come through to our dealerships all get answered by my team and myself. I'm scheduling appointments, you know, any sort of body shop work, scheduling, anything like that. I am the vice president of marketing. I manage a team of two women. My day-to-day -day consists of running our in-house agency all the media buying, all the media planning. I'm the service manager here for Alfa Romeo of Morris County. Everyday operation of the after sales department and working with the service writers and technicians, helping with client relations is the everyday process here. At first it was intimidating, but now I would have to say that it's not as bad as it seems. As long as you know and you're confident in what you're doing and you have knowledge on the product, then anyone can do it. When I first started, it was very intimidating and I'm actually thankful that it was because it allowed me to become stronger, to grow, and to learn from everybody that you know, I've, I've worked with in the past. Definitely has its challenges. You know, sometimes, especially on the service side of the business, they kind of want that, that male you know, to speak with when their car's in the shop for repairs and things like that. But we have a great 
group of girls, a great team, and you know our client relation skills that we all possess help us you know, get through it. Coming into the industry about 16 years ago, I didn't even know how to change my own oil or what an oil change necessarily was. So it was a welcome experience, learning new things, being outside of the box, something that does tend to kind of be a challenge, and I enjoy every minute of it. There are times when I go to meetings for the manufacturer, and I am one of the only women that's in the room amongst 50 men who have been accomplished, who are owners and other general managers and vice presidents of auto groups or individual dealerships. So it's definitely intimidating, but I think they might be more intimidated of the women that are in the roles that we are in here at Alfa Romeo. Tom is an amazing leader, especially having someone like him, a successful entrepreneur, giving us that opportunity as females to move up and having faith in us, I think that it's an amazing thing. Having someone like him being so supportive and believing in me and our dealership and our female employees is very empowering. I'm very happy working for this company, working for him. It's been truly, truly amazing. It's so unusual to have women that are working in leadership positions in this industry. So I've been in the auto industry for 10 years and I've never encountered a dealership, an auto group, any facet of the industry that's had women running a full dealership like you have at Alfa Romeo of Morris County. I've worked at other locations and nobody is like Tom in this industry. It's very hard as a female in the industry. Tom doesn't make you feel any different than anybody else within our organization. We have long time loyalty with employees, which is key in this industry because customers that come in want to see the same faces. They want to go to someone they trust, whether it's the service department or whether it's the sales department. They want the same faces because those are the people they trust. Work-life balance is definitely challenging every day. Not only am I a mom to two girls that are age four and five, I also am a single mom. One piece that drew me to Celebrity Motor Cars was the fact that they are so family oriented. And in my experience in working in automotive, I was always turned off by working on the retail side because I didn't think it was possible to have that work-life balance. And that's definitely something that I am able to have working for Tom Maoli at Celebrity Motor Cars. It's obviously hard. I'm a mom of two very young boys. I have a four-year-old and a five-year-old. And, you know, you try to balance it all and make sure that you're there for your children, there for, you know, your team, your work, and everything that we do. You know, I love every minute of my job, so I was never willing to give up my career. So it's always been something that, you know, I've been very passionate about. I work for the best dealership out there. They never hesitate. It's always family first. And, you know, if you have to run out to go get your kids or do something, they have no issues with you doing so. Most little girls don't say, when I grow up, I want to be the general sales manager at a car dealership. But you know what? They probably should. This is an exciting industry to be in. This is an exciting brand that we work for. Alfa Romeo is new, hip. We work for a great company. And like anything, you can be trained to do any position if you are able and willing. With a great team, building a great team, uh, working with each other, anything's possible and you, you can do it. As women, we have to kind of conquer the industry and conquer any industry that might be a predominantly male industry. We can do anything that a man can do, so it's definitely nice to kind of be part of that revolution in a sense where women are kind of becoming more predominant in businesses and industries that aren't the norm. You're doing your best and keep doing everything that you're doing and believe in yourself because a lot of times we are our own worst critic and you're gonna do great and just keep on staying positive and just focus on what your goals are and achieving them. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Hip New Jersey. For everything Garden State, visit us at hipnewjersey.com. We'll see you next time. This episode of Hip New Jersey is sponsored by Alpha Romeo of Morris County.